Okay, so welcome to your Cano build-it-yourself computer kind of thing that we have here. I'm going to first off tell you it is a very um, small computer. It has very little processing power, so just be patient with it. You have to love it. It's, it's just, it's cool, but it's not fast like what you're used to, and because it's kind of just a learning device on how everything connects and goes together. So um, I've got the keyboard on. If the keyboard ever goes to sleep and the little green light's not on, just press the button right there and that'll wake it up. Or if it's ever dead, you can charge it uh, there. So, so anyhow, my keyboard's going good. Um, I can move around on the screen like you see here. And I need to go to Cano World. That's where we're going to start. You can always go and explore these things. So if you want to go and explore every one of these, and here's new pages of them, there's, and, and then to select that, I'm just gonna tap the trackpad here and that'll select it. Uh, I also, there's a button called click here, so I can go to this one here and then press that and that selects that as well. So you have tap or you have the click button. Um, you know, you can see here's Cano World. I found it on the third page and I tapped it accidentally. It looks like Saturn, <laughs> so, uh, but there it is, Cano World. That's what you want to open up. Uh, we've paid for a subscription for the year and so we want you to get our money's worth out of it, okay? So uh, it, it actually costs more than the little computer, so. So yeah, so let's definitely, yeah, let's go team. Let's get that done. Uh, as I've said, uh, this thing is a is a, not on the powerhouse, certainly not a gaming PC. It's gonna kind of be slow. So just let it all load up. This is the explore section of the Cano World. When you make a creation inside a Cano app, you can share it to Cano World. Okay, so now we have Cano World. You can see a little video is playing. This is actually the woman who runs Adafruit and who built all this. She is an crazy, incredible person that if you ever want to study uh, the fascinating life of a fantastic inventor, she is great. I'm just going to minimize that video. Okay. I think it's still... Here's the volume over here for the speakers. She is still playing. Okay, let's... You can see how the creation was made. Why? And even remix it into a I don't know why it's still playing. Okay, like let me just turn that down. Okay, so on uh, Cano World here, uh, we've got a couple of things just up on the on the front here where the creation you have your creation as well as Cano Code, Make Art, and Pixel Motion. Those are um, some other apps on here. But what we're really interested in are the challenges. So I'm going to go and select challenges at the top. And please be forgiving with this. I mean, it could crash. You might have to restart it. There could be a whole bunch of things there. Uh, you know, just just try, be patient with it. Okay, that's all I'm saying here. So, uh, under challenges, uh, you can see we've got, uh, let me scroll down a little bit here. Uh, you can take on any one of these challenges. So create a clicker game, make music, make a pong game, uh, indoor color. Okay, so since this is a level three project, okay, so it's level three. So this should take you five to six hours of things to be done. So I think I'm going to probably set it at four of these challenges, okay? Four challenges. We will see how that goes. You're kind of a pioneer in, in working with this. So uh, what you're going to do when you, you need to keep track on in your MacBook or on a piece of paper which challenges you have completed. I won't be able to get a screen recording because this doesn't um, do that, but in your proof of work, you'll have to tell me and give me some details of which ones that you did and the names of each one so I can double check your work. So let's say I wanted to uh, make a Pong game. So I'm just go ahead and, and select that. And then that's going to take me through the step-by-step -step on how to do it. So uh, this is right here. So I'm just gonna go into setting up and now it's gonna take me to the Pong game in code, and I'm going to start doing the code to set that up. So uh, to kind of summarize, you need to get to Cano World. You can explore all the other things on this, on this um, computer, but you need to eventually get to Cano World, and when you're in Cano World, you need to complete four challenges to be able to earn this Tech 2, and it's gonna be a lot of coding, coloring, just interesting things that, that they've made here in Cano World. So try some of those and um, there we go. So you can see the lesson is all starting up here and it should take you step by step by step, okay? So good luck and I can't wait to uh, walk by and see the cool things that you're doing here, okay? Take care.